Hey guys, just a very quick video here to explain the two templates that I have made available today as part of our Taurus advent calendar, the second day of the month. Um, so AgriTrade, it is a really useful resource. You've probably seen me using these charts on various live streams and also these templates have been available for members of the crew for quite some time, but I've done a little bit of updating on them today and uh, well, yeah, releasing them now for the public as as a little giveaway for you guys. So AgriTrade is a free uh, website, it is a free resource, so you just need to go to v3.agra.trade. You can see the, uh, the little link down there in the bottom left hand corner. So just visit the website and then it will load up its default view for you here. Now this won't look like it is at the moment, which is why you've got to then load the template. So in order to load the templates for this, click on the three dots button down at the bottom there and go to settings and then what you have the opportunity to do is to import um, a uh, template from this so you can just go upload template file and then just yeah you'll see that it opens up a new window and then you can import the template file so the one that you're seeing currently right now is the Taurus Simple Price Plus CVD and the one I'm going to show you in just a moment is the 200 SMA view app on the 30 minutes so first of all this uh, Taurus Simple Price Plus CVD, this is how I like to use it. Now what you're seeing here is you can see your candles, um, just standard candlestick chart. This is a 10 second chart. So I'm essentially using this to basically read the tape. So just the very kind of fine detail within the market in order to get good executions and in order to see what the market is doing. I also have the tape here on the, the right hand side. Now this is aggregated across all exchanges and I have this set at a fairly low threshold. Again, if you click the three buttons, you do have options that you can change. But at the moment, like any order that's above $10,000, will appear on this chart and then underneath this you have the rect so this is all of the liquidations so at the moment it's been a bunch of short positions liquidated and this is quite interesting from the example that we're looking at right now and it takes me on to the next part here which is your cvd so on this chart there are three different cvds you are seeing two of them at the moment now the uh, the green is your spot cvd so this is exchanges such as Coinbase, where you're just looking at spot trading taking place. And then your blue is your perpetual, is your future CVD. So things like Bybit, uh, Binance Futures, those kind of things. Now on here, it's really useful for looking at like general CVD divergence. You can see at the moment that we're seeing this bullish CVD divergence on spot. But what we actually had earlier on, uh, very recently actually, just as I was kind of fiddling with the templates here, is a divergence between the two. Now this is where it becomes very interesting because you can see here that, okay, Spot had started selling as price was reaching these highs. But perps, what happened on the perps, which is what you often see, is that because you get this second push up just from Perpetual's CVD here, just that other push up, this being very... I guess inorganic price action being very manipulative where you just are taking stops and then this reverts back to where it was. So it's often where you see those second moves from perpetuals that Spot doesn't follow along with. You can see on this move over here where Spot is just kind of, they're trading alongside each other together. And then as soon as the Spot traders are, have kind of done their thing, they then the perpetuals then go up and take the stop losses, which is why we get all of these wrecks, these liquidations and stop losses being hit on that other move up from these, I guess, early short positions being entered within like a little range down here. So it's quite a useful thing to see, uh, just being able to see the difference between the what Spot traders are doing and what perps traders are doing. What we also have here, if you click on this little drop down, is you can add on your aggregated CVD. So this is the spot and perpetuals combined. And then what you can do is you can just show and hide these so you can look for general CVD divergences. In this instance, up at these highs, you've got that CVD weakness, okay, price making a higher high, the, uh, the CVD not following. And do we have anything else on here that's kind of useful? Did we get a bit of divergence there? Not really, but you, you get the idea. So it's, it's a nice fine look into the CVD. Uh, what you can also do on this is we've got the price line here. 
So you can, if you like, just remove the candles and you can look at the difference between what CVD is doing and what price is doing. So I think that is everything on this particular template. Okay, so if you load everything up together, it looks a little something like this. You're not going to want the price line and the candles together, but then it's quite a useful uh, thing if you want to just compare everything that's going on. Okay, what is CVD telling us? What is price telling us? Is it perps leading? Is it spot leading? Are we seeing absorption? Are we seeing some kind of manipulation within the market? That kind of thing. Okay, the second template here is the uh, 200, what have I named it as? <laughs> I've named it as the 200 SMA VWAP 30 minutes. Now this is a rolling VWAP, it's not anchored to anything, it's just a rolling VWAP and it is uh, on the 30 minute time frame and it's taking into account the last 200 candles off of this and this gives you your standard deviation bands. Okay, so on here, what you're looking at, same kind of thing. Okay, you've got your candlesticks, you've got your trades coming through, you've got your liquidations coming through. You've also got a little bit of trade data down at the bottom here. Um, but this is a nice view for just general like rotations within the market to understand when price is starting to get a little overextended, like it has been at these highs. You can see those upper VWAP bands, the kind of the rolling, the smoothing, moving average uh, VWAP bands uh, holding price quite well here and then eventually you get a drop down and it comes back into the midpoint and you can see just it's relatively nice the way that it just holds um within these bands quite often now will it load any further back it's not at the moment uh but you'll see as you as this kind of goes along the 30 minutes really nice now on here i'm using heiken ashi candles uh so this is a little bit different so if you do go on price over here then you can change this if you click on edit, then uh, here you can just change it from your normal candlesticks. But because I'm looking at this as more of like a general flow of the market, this is actually quite nice and it, it cleans up a lot of noise on there. What we also have on this chart, so that's the main thing. Again, you've got your liquidations down at the low. So when you're looking at high liquidations, that's a useful thing. And then we do have just a just a general CVD at the bottom. So you're not looking at a difference between what spot and perps are doing. It is just a general CVD line um, that's there at the bottom of the screen. So not on the same panel, this is separate. So if you wanna remove that, you just kind of get rid of it like that. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, relatively simple. So that is basically everything. You've also got volume there. So you can toggle volume on and off uh, on this lower panel here. And again, as with anything, you can edit each of these. So unless you know coding, I wouldn't recommend editing this stuff because it's kind of complicated. You've got a whole script that you've got to edit, but you can change the number that you're looking at for your moving average if you would like to. So you could change that to like a 100 rolling uh, moving average. Also, of course, if you do change the time frame, which is up here in this corner, then you can take that down. So let's say if we want to look at the 15 minute, then this will still be a 200 moving average on the 15 minute. So once again, you can kind of see it's OK. Yeah, it, it works pretty well. But the 30 minutes, what I really like to use it on. And that's why I'm sharing this one today. So it gives you a really good idea of like, okay, where are we reaching these extremes and where can you expect price to rotate back towards? Kind of acts a little bit like a Bollinger Band as well because when you have this uh, like very flat price action, as you would expect with a Bollinger Band, Bollinger Band like moving in on price because you're taking into account like 200 candles here, it starts to get very narrow if there's no volatility and then you can look for it to expand away from that. So you're looking at reversion back into the mean when you start to get real like wide like it has been here. Then as you start to, price starts to come a little bit closer together and starts to lose volatility, then they can coil in and then you look for it to move away from that again so you see expansion and then price reverts back into the middle then it comes down contracts expands and continues to expand and now as it's starting to come back in you can expect some support down here in the middle again off of this so yeah uh that is that is everything um enjoy them please do let me know what you think and uh Yes, I will. Um, <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers. Bye.